Hey, I'm back. Today we're going to talk about intermittent fasting, lower carbohydrates, and your thyroid. Many times I'll hear from someone that it's dangerous for your thyroid to do low carbohydrates or fasting. That's what destroys the thyroid, okay? That is absolutely not true. Let me first kind of give you the basics. You have this thing called the pituitary. It's a small gland in your brain, about the size of a pea, um, and it sends a message down to the thyroid. It controls the thyroid. Thyroid is at the base of the neck right here. It's about two and a half inches wide. It comes from the Latin word, which means shield, because it looks like a shield. So this gland that's triggering the main thyroid hormone is being controlled by the pituitary through something called the thyroid stimulating hormone. Pretty much describes what it is, right? So then the thyroid releases its main hormone called T4. The four represents the number of iodine molecules. So T4 is an inactive thyroid hormone. It has to be activated to make it work. And 80% of the activation happens through the liver and 20% happens through your kidney. So what happens when it gets activated through certain enzymes, it strips off an iodine and it becomes T3. Okay, so T3 is the active form of the thyroid hormone. So T3 does its job and it does, has everything to do with metabolism and speeding things up and making things work through pretty much all the cells. So when it does its job, it sends a signal back up to the pituitary, complying with this order, completing the action, and then this can turn off. So we have this whole feedback system that's dependent on a lot of different things, the environment, um, food, etc. Now, it is true that there are certain things that will influence these hormones, like a low carbohydrate diet and fasting can cause a low normal T3, okay? That's the active form. It's not necessarily abnormal, but it could be low normal, okay? Still within the range, okay? Why would it be low normal? Simply because T3 is constantly getting feedback from the environment. If you eat a lot of food, it has to speed up to keep up with the metabolism. If you eat less food or less frequent food, it can slow down. What you're gonna find is the thyroid stimulating hormone is gonna be normal. And this is how they diagnose a hypothyroid problem, okay? So it's gonna be normal and T4 is probably gonna be normal too. You may just see a slight dip in T3 and that is because you're not consuming the frequent meals and the quantities of, of sugar that you did before. And this is totally okay because your body just doesn't need to produce the quantities of T3. You may also see another thing, okay? Higher reverse T3. Now, what is that? Well, what happens is if the body doesn't necessarily need as much T3, it can put it in an inactive form, okay? It's called reverse T3. So T3 is kind of similar to T4. It's just an inactive form of, of T3. Now, why would this be higher? Because the body is just adapting to the environment. It doesn't need as, as much T3, so it puts it into an inactive form because if it did keep going and you produce more and more T3 when you didn't need it, you can end up with a hyperthyroidism, okay? If you didn't have this and it kept going and you produce too much T3, you can end up with a hyper state, a hyperthyroid state. Now, what happens when you go on a low calorie diet, okay, and you don't change your carbohydrates, you have higher amounts of carbohydrates like most calorie diets do, or even go through stress or infection, you could actually have an alteration in the thyroid stimulating hormone right here. And you can have low T3 and even low T4. But if you're doing this, if you're doing intermittent fasting and you're losing weight and you're on a low carbohydrate diet and you're having energy and you're feeling good and you're not hungry and your hair is not falling out, okay, and you find out that you have a low normal, but you have a normal thyroid stimulating hormone, just realize that this is a, this is a totally okay situation. It's not going to be a problem. So one more point I want to bring up about iodine, okay? This, an iodine deficiency can very easily create a hypothyroid state. But if you're taking a high quality sea kelp, um, that will protect the thyroid. Iodine is very, very good for uh, women um, in that it helps balance, balance the estrogen out. Also good for men and their prostate. So it's a very vital trace mineral. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Talk to you later. So I hope you're coming to the Keto Health Summit coming up in October. So I wanna quickly comment on what we're gonna do that's different from other conventions, okay? The problem with these other conventions is they give you information overload, okay? It's so much data that you're basically swimming in a sea of information. 
uh, we're going to do things very differently. We're only going to cover the most important things that make a huge difference. Now, there are three very powerful strategies that we're going to be talking about at the summit that you will not find in any of my YouTube videos. Number one is on memory. I'm going to be showing you something very cool to dramatically increase your memory and concentration that's going to blow you away. And number two, I'm going to show you how to increase your stress tolerance so you are completely calm all the time. All right. And number three, and most importantly, if you have a slow metabolism, if you've dieted for a long time and everything is kind of just really slow, I'm going to show you how to get complete control over your metabolism so you can literally turn up the dial as high as you want and control as much weight as you want to lose. And these three things are just a tiny bit of what you're going to learn in the summit. So click the link below, get signed up, and I will see you in October.